Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Marie, and in today's video, we are going to watch a video about the most popular political leader Narendra Modi. So, uh, the video is called Modi vs. World His Secret to Global Popularity. Let's go! Narendra Damodardas Modi, the current Prime Minister of India, is something else. Prime Minister Mr. Modi. Prime Minister Sri Modi, we owe you a depth of gratitude. In the Prime Minister Modi is what's PM Modi's big bro side. He's very accessible. Regardless of where you come from, the life of Prime Minister Modi underscores the limitless promise. Prime Minister Modi is the boss. This is my favorite. I saw you know what I a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, videos especially shorts with Modi on YouTube, I don't know why, but it's always so funny. Ever since he took oath as the Prime Minister in 2014, his government, the Bharatiya Janata Party, has been on a roll. In 2014, the BJP won by a majority of 282 out of a total of 543 seats in the Lok Sabha, the lower house of the parliament. Then, in 2019, Modi outdid himself by winning 303 out of the total mm. 543 seats and came back to power with an overwhelming majority. This is the BJP's second term. Modi's popularity and charisma knows no bounds, but it is no longer limited only to his 1.4 billion countrymen. At the moment, he is the world's most popular leader with an approval rating of 77%. He has outperformed all other major world leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, French President Emmanuel Macron, Italian yeah, this is really insane. Prime Minister Georgia Maloney and UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. He has retained the top spot for more than two years now. Even his lowest approval ratings were 63% in May 2021. That, too, when India was rocked by the second COVID wave. His social media handles not only describe his popularity, but also his growing influence. 94 million followers on Twitter, 83 million on Instagram, and 20 million on YouTube. No other yeah, world leader comes close. I also follow him on Instagram and I like his YouTube channel also. <laughs> close. What's even more surprising is that he is cherished even in countries which might not have the best relations with India. Even though Indochina relations are going through tough times, the internet's admiration for Modi tells a completely different story. In Chinese social media circles, he has earned an unusual nickname for himself. They call him Modi Loashin. The word oh, Loashin translates to an elderly immortal with some weird abilities. In the streets of Pakistan, people are even seeking Modi's leadership, especially now when the country is going through a crisis. When a country with a not-so-friendly history begins to seek its neighbor's leadership, it begs the question, what is so special about Modi that people all around the world today see him as a great leader? You know, guys, I want to ask you, let me know in the comments what happened with China, why you have some disagreements, I don't know about it. For the first time in a very long time, India is witnessing a leader who understands the fabric of the country. What do I mean by that? See, India is not just any country in the world. It's a civilization older than 5,000 years with so much diversity in region, religion, language, attire, culture, traditions that Indians themselves are not familiar with. Just traveling from one part of India to another is like stepping into a whole new world, even for an Indian. But this yeah, I've heard about it because there are a lot of different languages and also I know that South India and North India are just different places and they have their own culture even. This is interesting. Civilization was buried underneath years of British colonial rule. To engage with a billion people who are diverse in a billion ways, you need a leader who understands the very fabric of the country, who comes from within the country, and who knows what the people truly demand of their leadership. There's something different about Modi that connects him to the people, and it's more than the fact that he is the Prime Minister. Take the Howdy Modi event in Houston. 
He just says everything is fine in nine Indian languages, and you can see the response he gets every time. <laughs> Modi realized early on that the 18 million Indians living abroad, which form the world's largest diaspora. Yeah, you know? Uh, I think that his secret to global popularity is that he has that, you know, mature vibe and people like this kind of people. He is, he is also kind of um, kind-hearted person and yes, there are a lot of videos when he uh, treats kids in a good way or women and uh, yes, that's why I think people like him and also you know he is very easy going and uh, i would say um, sociable and emotional because you know it's not very common for leaders of countries to be such warm as Miranda Modi is because everybody is uh, very serious, everybody is like poker face, la la la. And uh, Modi is always very positive. And yes, I think that's why he's so popular. This is my idea. ...can be a strategic asset in projecting India's image among the international community. He tapped into the Indian diaspora, rekindling their connection with India. The support of the Indian diaspora abroad was also seen as an international stamp of approval amongst people back in India. That's Another great. such instance can be seen from his speeches at international forums, where he often makes it a point to speak in Hindi in Indian language as opposed to English, thereby sending a strong message to nations that India has shed the baggage of colonialism and embraced Bharat's cultural heritage. Yes. Just like his BJP predecessor, statesman and former Indian Prime Minister, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Modi is a master orator. Oration is a very important skill for a leader, but it does yeah, not mean... Yeah, I just wanted to say that this is so crucial for a political leader to be able to speak. Yes, I agree. In ...addressing an election rally, or giving a speech, or engaging in a discourse. There's a bit of everything in it. The performance, addressing the crowd, knowing the pauses, the punchlines, the theatrics. He has got every tool that makes him a powerful orator. But his <laughs> biggest trump card in Modi's arsenal of oration is his power to sway the hearts of billions of people across the world. The way he reaches out to people makes the media look almost irrelevant, which is something to say considering the fact that it's referred to as the fourth pillar of democracy. It is a known fact that Modi doesn't like the press, and hence mm. hasn't given a lot of interviews. But with his skills and capabilities, he doesn't really need the press or I didn't know about it. any other interlocutor to address his people. After becoming the Prime Minister, he came up with his own radio show called Monkey Bot, which means speaking from the heart. It is his way of addressing the nation. Every month... Yeah, you know, I like that he has a YouTube channel and also... Instagram and this radio program, it's cool. Not everybody has something like that. He interacts with the people on important subjects and issues, narrates stories of ordinary people living extraordinary lives, and celebrates the nation's achievements on air. Mm -hmm. Notably, on Monkey Bot, he avoids any political stuff, thereby addressing the people as a leader and not as a politician. Yeah. First Even first. though politicians might not be the most loved people in the world, people still look for the most human qualities oh. in their leaders, how they carry themselves, how they treat yeah. others. You know, this video is uh, extremely famous in Russia. And people always like this kind of videos with animals. Yes, it is cute. The smallest of things become a measure of what's truly inside a person's heart. I I saw also Modi with uh, an elephant. It also was very beautiful. And they make a huge impact on how people perceive their leader. In September 2019, a video of Modi went viral. 
In this video, he was seen consoling and hugging the ISRO chief Dr. K. Sivan after the space agency lost contact with the Vikram lander of India's second lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2. There are many such interactions of the Prime Minister, like picking up the Taranga from the floor during the BRICS summit in Johannesburg, or encouraging the national women's hockey team after they lost the bronze medal in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Hockey? Hockey team? Women's hockey team? Really? You have a women's hockey team? Wow, I didn't know about it. Hockey is very famous in Russia, and uh, this, is, this is a surprise for me that India also has a hockey team and women's hockey team. Very interesting. It's just human, but when it comes from a leader, these small gestures show a person's true character. In Modi as well, people are able to see a person first, and then a leader. That's great. Even though India lives in one of the most troubled neighborhoods, the country mm -hmm. has exercised restraint for the longest time. Even after the 2611 terror attacks in India's financial capital of Mumbai, the option to retaliate did not receive a political okay. Now, whether it was the right decision or not will always be a subject of debate. But in September 2016, when 19 Indian Army soldiers were martyred at Uri, Modi rewrote the rules of engagement and unleashed surgical strikes against the terror camps in POK. Mm. Modi not only stood behind the forces, but also gave them a free hand. He even owned the surgical strikes, thereby resisting the routine international pressures which would otherwise act as a deterrent from responding in this fashion. International pressure is also the government's pressure. International pressure is the power of the country in Hindustan. We can be able to do the pressure in the whole world. The surgical strikes were a paradigm shift in India's newfound attitude. Modi highlighted the one quality which was missing from Indian leadership for a long time, a strong political will. Mm -hmm. There is a covenant between a leader and his soldiers. Yeah, the soldier yeah. says, Terrorism is a big problem for the whole world. This is very sad. I shall lay down my life for the country, provided that you give me the leadership. With the surgical strikes, Modi showed that he was not afraid to take strong decisions oh, if it meant... He has a very beautiful decoration on his head. <laughs> this one. This one red. Safeguarding India's interests. This was again proved in the 2019 Pawama attack on 40 CRPF personnel when India retaliated with the Balakot airstrikes. Under Modi's yeah. tenure, India also took the historic decision of abrogating Article 370, which gave Jammu and Kashmir special provisions to have a separate constitution, autonomy of international administration, and a flag of its own. I didn't know about it. Modi's international approval ratings have gone through the roof, but it's more than just popularity or influence. This is the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, James Morape, touching Modi's feet when the latter visited the country for the FIPIC summit. In Indian traditions, this is known as Charan Sparsh, where you touch the feet of your elders as a way of seeking their blessings. So it's more than just popularity or influence, it's respect. Modi has. Yes, you know, I. I think personally that it is very good tradition and I love it so much, it's so cute and um, yes, in order to show respect, you touch someone's feet. Hmm. I like this tradition really. Become the voice of not just India and the global south, but also of those nations who have ambitions of being heard, yet lack the means to do so. Furthermore, his diplomatic prowess has helped him build relations all around the world. On 13th of July 2023, Modi was conferred with the highest honor of France, the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, by French President Emmanuel Macron. He has also received the Order of Nile from Egypt, along with 12 other such state honors from countries like Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Russia, South Korea, Maldives, and Bhutan. Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Maloney took it one step further by calling him the most loved leader in the world. But it was the Australian Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, who topped it all by saying something you'll rarely hear a world leader say. Prime Minister Modi is the boss! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modi seems to have reached some sort of superstardom, which even world leaders can't ignore. His superstardom was confirmed when U.S. President Joe Biden asked for his autograph during the G7 summit in Japan. Really? Interestingly... 
Bye. This is the same man who was once denied oh. a U.S. visa. And now, he stands atop as the most popular leader in the world. Ooh, yes, you know. I saw a lot of videos, especially shorts, uh, that uh, Modi wasn't so popular and when he just became a Prime Minister of India, uh, nobody liked him and uh, other political leaders didn't care about him at all. They were just not interested. But nowadays it's totally different, as we can see. And yes, I like his style, I like his vibe, and guys, let me know in the comments what you think about it and the modding. I've heard that people like him, maybe there are some problems, right? But people say that he's not bad, as I understood from social media. So I want to know your opinion about it, and if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.